Hello, ladies and gentlemen, friends, Evangelist Nick Garrett here. I'm going to say two things today that might make you a little bit uncomfortable, but they're true and they're deep. And if you relate to what I'm saying today, they're exciting and they're going to give you two new things to dive into the Bible and take a look at. The earliest Christians, I'm talking the first six months, they didn't have like we have today doctrines upon doctrines and denomination and thousands of different little ideas about what it means to be a Christian. All they had was this, Christ is risen. The guy, the guy who had this connection to God, he rose from the dead. Over 500 witnesses saw him. That's all they had. To prove it, let's look at the first two times an individual gets a chance to tell a lot of people about what happened. The beginning of the book of Acts, Peter is talking to a large mixed group of people, Gentiles, some Jews, and what does he do? He starts quoting from the Old Testament prophet Joel. So we have this Jesus Christ risen from the dead with witnesses, eyewitnesses. A skeptic could knock on the door and say, hey, were you there? Can you tell me what you saw? And here's the second piece of, of it. Here's the second thing they had. The connection that Jesus Christ fulfilled what was written in the prophets. That is it. Yeah, I mean, maybe the churches had started taking care of widows, orphans, and poor, treating others like you want to be treated, eating meals together, these very basic fundamental things. But the earliest Christianity, those first few months, that was it. Jesus Christ is risen, and he fulfilled what was written about in the prophets. Here's the second thing I'm going to say that might make you a little bit uncomfortable. We've all heard the word heretic, right? Heretic means like against orthodoxy, unorthodox, a heretical view. Some of the church history is written as in these people were killed en masse because they were heretics. There were heretics very early on too, a group called the Judaizers. There were some called Montanist, Sabellians. The list is quite endless. But if you're into apologetics, proofs for the Christian faith, this is one of the most fascinating. Even the heretics prove the authenticity of Jesus Christ and his divinity. Let me say that again. Even the heretics proved Jesus Christ and his divinity. How, you ask? Well, it's quite simple. There wasn't a group of heretics that popped up and said, no, 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 you got this all wrong. This was just a guy. Uh, he wasn't the Messiah. Uh, he certainly wasn't anything divine. No. To the contrary, all the heretics popped up and said, well, yeah, he was a human, but he was more God than human. And another group said, no, 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 he was, he was God, some God, but mostly human. And the others said, yeah, he was clearly some kind of great prophet sent from God, but we're still supposed to follow the Jewish law of circumcision. There was never a question about his divinity. It was a question about what it meant and how it worked. How is it that this guy rose from the dead? The resurrection of Jesus Christ is the most historically attested event in human history. And the events leading right after it prove that. There are two things I would have you read, both in the book of Acts, both near the beginning. Read what Peter said when he was given the chance to finally speak about this Jesus to a large group of people. And he read from the Old Testament prophet Joel. A couple pages later, we get Stephen. Stephen, the martyr, the short-lived martyr who ends up being killed by Saul of Tarsus, who would later become Paul. He addresses the Sanhedrin about this Jesus. And he takes us on a journey from the Old Testament when God first became friends with Abraham and brings us all the way through to the present. Stephen would end up being stoned to death for what he had to say. But these two writings give you the very first snapshot of what the earliest Christians were thinking right after the resurrection. 
Friends, love you. Thank you for popping by for a few minutes to have a look. If you're interested in anything I've written, you can go to Amazon.com slash author slash Nicholas Garrett. You can check me out at Evangelist Nick G across all the platforms. Uh, this video today is going on YouTube and all the others. And I'll pop out a couple others uh, to give you some stuff that happened on this day in church history. Thanks. Talk to you next time.